you could have wrote us off but you didn't God bless the musicians oh God bless all the singers oh God bless everyone that had a hand in this performance in this debut oh God bless them each and everyone in their rightful places God bless the people that are in the audience and those that are looking live and screaming the Lord the network oh God the social media God because we know that is a new help tool to get your message across oh God God you use the smallest things oh God God you use it to minister oh God in every way, oh God, you reach in every corner and crevice, oh God, of the earth, oh God, your people, that no one will go without hearing your voice, oh God. God, as we compel many to come before you, oh God, as we compel them, oh God, to begin to worship you, oh God, to begin to reverence you, oh God. Lord, we just simply say, just keep Jesus first. Just keep your son Jesus first, oh God. Because it was him who found me. God, I wasn't looking for Jesus. Some of y'all was not looking for Jesus. Some of y'all was not trying to find Jesus. And he found you. He got you right where you was at. He pulled you up out of the murk and the clay. He pulled you up out of the, the troubled waters, oh God. Yes, you did, oh Lord. I am a witness, oh God. Many of y'all are a witness, oh Lord. As you look out and you look next to your neighbor, as you see, you say, I am a witness that he pulled me out. How many people have he pulled out tonight? That's who I'm looking for tonight. I'm looking for the people that he pulled out. I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about just any ordinary folk. I'm talking about people that almost died from COVID. I'm talking about people that know people that died from COVID. I'm talking about brothers and sisters that fell by the wayside. I'm talking about brothers and sisters who ain't here no more. God, I worship you. Please don't make me worship him by myself. But if I have to, if I got to worship Christ by myself, I'll do it. But I know that every knee must bow. And I know that every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh my God, Jesus Christ is Lord. I bow down. I worship you, Lord. I magnify you, Lord. Lord, save me. Help me, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you tonight. God, I'm reaching out my hand to you, God. My friends are dead and gone. My loved ones are passed away, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Just stand to your feet and praise the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Is that all right? Worship him, oh my my, oh worship him, mm-hmm. say bow down and worship him, worship him. Worship him, oh yes, sir. Say, yeah. bow down and worship him. Worship him, oh I need you, Lord. Oh, worship him. Let me say it again, yes. Yeah. Say, bow down and worship. Him. Mm-hmm. Worship Him, oh yes sir, oh worship Him, 
worship Him. Yeah, consume fire, sweet perfume. His awesome, His awesome presence. did all he could this afternoon yes, yes. to stop us from praising his name. He did all he could. It seemed like everything wasn't right. Went to the bank, that wasn't right. I went home, tried to lay down and rest, that wasn't right. Let me say this to you. Let's pray for our children. And there's no better time, no better night than right now. And so when you hear us say bow down, you ought to be screaming. You ought to be thinking about all that you're going through, all that you've been through. We're going to leave it right here tonight. Would y'all help me do that? Would y'all help me do that? Consuming fire? Come on, help me do that. Sweet perfume. Lord, you are awesome presence. Feel this. This is. Hey, yeah, yeah. This is all. Come on.
bow down. Lord, I need you. So come and bow, bow down. So come on, come on, come on. So come and bow, bow down. Let's whisper it. Come on. So come and bow, bow down. You ought to be in front of your screen. So come and bow, bow down. Oh Lord, so come have your way, Lord. Let me leave all of my hurts, my pain, my shame, right here tonight. Bow down. Bow down. Bow down. So come on. So Come on, I know it's a few people in this house tonight. Let me hear you make some noise. That sounds a little better. Just make some noise for me. Let's do it again. Clap your hands. Scream if you have to. Whatever you need to do tonight, I need you to do it right now. I need you to praise God like you've never praised Him before. We in the midst of a COVID and everything tried to stop us. But I got good news for you. We opened up with praise and worship, and we came and laid our troubles on the altar. So we bow down tonight, and we give God all the glory. Can we give him all the glory? Say amen. Say amen. Amen. Listen. God has been really good to me and I'm really I'm in such awe of tonight that I can't even believe I'm standing here but I know this I'm standing here by the grace of God I've had about 10 11 brothers that grew up with me and they're no longer with me all ten of them lost their life to gun violence we spent the night we played basketball together some point of the years these were my best friends um, we ate together, hung out, we cut a fool together. And with the exception of maybe five or three real close brothers, I'm the only one here. So if you can imagine, tonight is more than about me. It's more than about a song is more than about the critics or what they may say. It's so much more. I'm just happy I'm still here. I wish my, my brothers were here with me. And sometimes when I'm by myself, I just... Dark day. I had my self dark days, but I'm still here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I had some 
lonely nights good lord i had some lonely nights but i'm still here somebody know what i'm talking about Ooh, i had some tears some tears to shed good lord i had some tears to shed but I'm, but I'm still here. Should have been dead, sleeping in a lonely grave. Dark days, I had my share of dark days. But I'm still here. Oh yes I am. Oh yes I am. Ooh. I had some lonely nights Good Lord, I had some lonely nights But I'm still here Oh yes I am Oh yes I am Ooh, I had some tears to shed Good Lord, we had some tears to shed But we're still here Y'all know what church it all. I made it through another day turning. Oh, yes, sir. God kept me here. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. I made it through another day turning. been stabbed in the back good love we've been stabbed in the back yes sir but we're still here somebody know what i'm talking about somebody know what i'm talking about yeah i've been sick good love we've been sick yes sir but we're still here COVID can do whatever it wants. It can do whatever it wants. Listen, I've been broke. Good Lord, we've been broke. Yes, sir. But we're still here. Come on and say it. Through it all, I made it through another day journey. Yes, sir. God kept me here. Through it all, I made it through another day journey. Yes, God kept me here. Oh, so I made it. Yes, sir. Tell them that you made it. Oh my, my, tell them that you made it, yes, tell them that you made it, yeah, yeah, say I made it through the storm and rain, I made it through heartaches and pain, I made it, yes, come on, tell them that you made it, yeah, yeah, I made it, I made it, I made it. I made it, 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 I made it through another day journey. God kept me here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I say I made it through another day journey. Yes, God 
get me You ought to stand on your feet and tell the dying world, tell them I made it through another day journey. Oh, I see you right there. Tell them you made it there. He kept me here. He kept me through the storm and the rain. Tell them you made it through another day journey. Yeah. God kept me here. Tell them won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Tell him, hey, won't he do it? Tell him, won't he do it? Oh, yes, he will. And all you know, he'll do it. Yeah, he'll bring you out. He'll do it. Yeah. Say, he'll do it. Won't he do it? He'll do it. Won't he do it for you, Lord? He'll do it. How many can testify? Know that he'll do it for you. Say, yeah, he'll do it. I got one over there. Can I get another one? He'll do it. Oh, yes, he will. Tell him, say, he'll do it. Yes, you know he'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. Say, he'll do it. He'll do it. Yeah. No, won't he do it? Say it soft, say it soft, play it soft, watch this. Listen, if you ever had to pray and get on your knees and wait for an answer, cause you said, God help me please, I'm trying to tell you he'll do it, won't he do it? He'll do it, oh my, 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 yeah. He'll do it, yes. Say it again. He'll do it, yeah. He'll do it. Y'all know he'll do it for you. He'll do it. You know he'll do it for you. He'll do it, yeah. Tell him that he'll do it. I made it through. You can't miss standing right here. Oh, yeah. I made it through another day journey. Ooh, God kept me here. Oh, yes, He will. Oh, yes, He will. Oh, yes, He will. I made it through another day journey. Yeah. Let's just praise him all by ourselves. God kept us here for a reason. And if God kept us here, the very least we could do is praise his holy name. Now maybe those out on TV and on the internet won't praise him, but we ought to praise him up in here. You ought to say, Lord, thank you for bringing me to life. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for laying me down. Thank you for having my back because we made it through. Woo! The only way we got through. Y'all ready for this? The only way we can get through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The only way we can get through is by keeping Jesus first. Amen. Come on, let's do that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Mm. Jesus Woo. Woke up this morning. Everything is fine. Didn't have a worry. Jesus was on my mind. Troubles all behind me. Life is going well. One thing I don't want to do is live without him. Now. Trying to live life without him. So hold on. Don't give up. 
be strong. Do your best and live for the Lord. One thing I know that I press to sing. I know. That the devil can't sleep Made a promise to the Lord His commandments I'll keep Had some tears to say Some suffering had to be Lord, I can always trust in Him I don't have no fear I don't have no fear Jesus the one that covers me Jesus first, oh yeah, matter how far I go, oh, matter how far I go, keep Jesus first, oh yeah, oh, ain't no valley too low, no mountain too high, and there Lord Jesus is, I catch a plane and search the sky, cause Jesus you're my I love you till the very end. Oh, Thinking of a master plan. This wasn't nothing but sweat inside my head. So I dig into my pockets, all my money was spent. And I could feel them still coming up with less. So I lock my doors and leave the residence. Thinking how I can become the next president. Need money. Used to be a stick up kid, but now I'm thinking of all the devious things I did. I used to roll up. This is a hole up. Ain't nothing funny. Stop smiling. Still nothing move but the money. But now I learn to earn because I'm righteous. I feel faint. So maybe I might just search for a nine to five. And if I try, and maybe. I stay alive until I walk in the street. I whistle and then, and then do I miss? But man, do I miss a pen and a paper, a stereo, a tape player, me and big tank and a nice big plate of fish, which is my favorite dish. But without the money, it was still a wish. And I didn't want to dream about getting paid, so I dig into my pockets all the prayers been made. Keep Jesus first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Keep Jesus first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus first, oh, yeah. Oh, ain't no valley too low, no mountain too high. Wherever Jesus is, I catch a plane and search the sky. Cause Jesus, you're my friend, and I love you till the very end. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you're my friend. Oh, I'll keep Jesus first. If I make it to the top, keep Jesus first. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say it with me, say it. Keep Jesus first. Come on, come on. Keep Jesus first, oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, come on. Come on, come on. Keep Jesus first, oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, I see you. Come on, come on, yeah. I like it, I like it. Come on. Keep Jesus first, oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, come on. Keep Jesus first, oh, 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 oh yeah. Keep Jesus first, no matter what you're going through, no matter where you've been, oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Keep Jesus first. Come on, come on. Keep Jesus first. Keep Jesus first. 
any further we have to give reverence to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because if it had not been for him being in the midst of this event and being in control of it none of this would be possible so God we want to say thank you we want to thank you for your son and we will continue to keep him first in everything that we do in our life yes yes so if you love the single there's many ways you can download it. There's many ways you can purchase it as well. So, to download it, you can go to TRE, you can go to TRE, talentroom, ent.com. You can also go to revfrankbostickdown.com. And there's over 300 music apps that you can also go to to download Keep Jesus First as well. To get it as well, excuse me. So, some of those apps that you can go to is Spotify, Deezer, Tittle, Apple Music, Amazon Music, just a few that I could name, but whatever app that you love, you can get it. Now, we would like to thank our sponsors because if it had not been for their support, this still wouldn't be possible. Even though God is in control of everything, but we still need to help one another and we just want to thank them. So first and foremost, we want to thank Glenn Jones, Prince Levy, and Marianne Eglishton of Talent Room Entertainment. We also want to thank KBS Entertainment, also, we would like to thank Pilgrim Baptist Church, my home. Yes, yes. We also would like to thank WUFO 96.5, the legendary Power 96.5 here in Buffalo, New York, Sheila L. Brown. And we also would like to thank um, JB Auto Shop here in Buffalo as well. So. It's time to give some money away. Pastor, he's so passionate in what he does and he wanted to give back because right now we're in a pandemic. This COVID-19, it has took lives. It has taken jobs from people. You know, some people getting unemployment but it's still not enough to pay their bills. So he wanted to be a blessing to um, some folks. So we had people go on to Pilgrim website to register. So we're going to pick six people and he want to bless each person with a hundred dollars. Just know that when God blesses you, that blessing is not for you. It's for you to bless someone else. So that's what we have to do. We have to learn how to not be stubborn and, and, and just think it's all about us because somebody is always in need of something, you know? So 
I'm waiting for them to bring the names out. But right now, I just want everybody just to stand on their feet and just give God praise right now. Let them know how much you thank him. Let them know how much you love him. Let them know how much you appreciate him. Because we are in a time where we all need to stick together and love on one another because tomorrow is not promised. But the good thing I do know is God will never leave us nor forsaken us. So we need to give him all the praise and all the glory. Yes, so band, could y'all just play something nice to get us together while we wait for pastor to come with the names. And just let us just worship. Just worship in the Lord. Just bless his name. You know, just bless his name. Be grateful. Just be grateful. We are in the house of the Lord. It's been a long time, you know, and it feels so good. I don't know about you, but I feel good. And I feel good being around folks who loves the Lord. Because can't nobody do it the way he do it. Nobody. Come on, y'all. Play something. Something where we can just meditate on the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We love you, God. We bless your name, God. We glorify you, God. We need you right now, God, to step in. Be in the midst of this event, Lord God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for our every day. We thank you for the blessings you give us every day. We thank you, God, because we know without you nothing is possible. Oh, bless your name, God. We glorify you, Lord. Yes. And Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. And we will continue to keep you first, my Lord. All right, so I have the six names, and I'm going to call them out. And when I call out your name, I'm going to give you the information where you can claim your winnings. And the first name is Ricky Zayner. Ricky Zayner. The next name is Margaret Newkirk. Margaret Newkirk. The third name is Joan Caldwell. Joan Caldwell. The fourth name is Katrina Simmons. Alabama. Katrina Simmons of Alabama. I said the first name wrong. Let me get it right. And it's Ricky Lanier. Ricky Lanier. The fifth name is Juanita Martin. Juanita Martin. And the last name is Nicole Mann. I'm praying I'm saying it right, Nicole Mann. All right, so we want to just congratulate these six people who have been blessed by Reverend Frank Bostick because he wanted to give back. You know, we all in need of something. That's why we have to stick together, like I said, because God is always there for us. So congratulations to these six winners. You can call Pilgrim Baptist Church at 716-854-4880. That's Pilgrim Baptist Church, 665 Michigan Avenue, Buffalo, New York, 14203, 716-854-4880. Excuse me. God bless y'all.
Now I'm going to put it back in the hands of Reverend Frank Bostic with his last remarks. Amen. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Amen. Um, I don't know if some has seen the interview um, earlier. I kind of I talked about a little about my life, and um, it's important. It might not be important to some, but it's important for me to do so because we have some young brothers and sisters coming up behind me without hope. And the only way that we can give them some hope sometime is to tell them where you come from. And I know we are ashamed, please fix that. And sometime tell them where you come from so that they'll know and understand it hadn't been that easy for you. And then when you get finished telling them where you come from, tell them where your grandmother came from. See, most of our problem is, just like most adults, we forget where we come from. We're living in a culture that don't belong to us. I know you didn't get that. We live in a culture that does not belong to us. We're trying to act white. We're trying to eat white. We're trying to live white. We're a culture, from what my understanding is, we're a culture that came up praying. When they took us from Africa and brought us here to the south, as we migrated, please fix that. And we migrated from Africa to the south. We knew how to pray. We stopped praying. We said that we don't need the church no more. The church ain't cool enough, the preacher ain't this, the pastor ain't that. And when you look in the mirror, you ain't all that much neither. But one of the things I did not want to do in this mission, in this, in this drive, in this movement of keeping Jesus first is never forget where I come from because it keeps reminding me when I came out the prison cell, it was prayer that brought me out. It was prayer that gave me my first job. It was prayer that kept me alive. I mentioned earlier some of the challenges this today. And um, I'm a little gun shy. I don't want to put my business out. But my son is struggling. No, he's not a bad kid, and he reminds me of me. But I flipped out because I couldn't remember, I'm so far down the road, that I was once like that. Isn't it something God to give you something that reminds you of you? And I was so angry with him, I wished, I wished, I literally wished death on his life. And Val said to me, didn't you just finish praying about that? You knew the enemy was going to attack you today. Anytime you're doing something right for the Lord, the enemy is going to attack you. And he did. And I let him like a fool. But let me tell you, church, when that happens, make sure you got somebody around you that know how to pray. 
We're living in a time where COVID-19 has kept us from hugging one another, has kept us out of the church. And incidentally, the governor, nor the president, nor the mayor did not shut the church down. God did. And maybe, maybe he's, he's fed up with church folk playing church. Maybe we, we're so jazzy now we don't need Jesus. And so God shut the church down. And here we are, we got folk crying, talking about ready to go back to church, and they weren't going to church the first time. So let me say this. The challenge of COVID-19 isn't a challenge for believers because we gonna get through, we made it through. We made it through because we, we humbled ourselves and we bowed down. We making it through because we gonna learn a night, we gonna keep Jesus first. We're going to pray for ourselves, pray for our children, pray before we eat, pray before we get our next president of the United States. That's what we're going through. In closing, eight minutes and 46 seconds. How in the world, as a leader of the free country, or a leader in the free country, you don't feel it? George Floyd was not an American hero. He was not a bishop, he wasn't a pastor, he wasn't a lawyer, he wasn't a doctor. He was a Negro from the street who was struggling just like us or some of our family members. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. Everybody waiting for Christ to come back. And let me tell you, he may not come back the way you think. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. He may come back looking not sharp like we look. He may come back not wearing a Robert Graham shirt. He may come back not wearing red bottoms. He may come back not wearing a black and white tie or a black suit. He may come back with a bald head. I don't know. All I know is he's coming back. Eight minutes and 46 seconds should have and ought have changed the world. God used a man who wasn't a doctor, who wasn't a preacher, who wasn't a singer, wasn't a lawyer. God used a man with a, listen, with a scratchy background and a reputation. It wasn't in, it wasn't in Brother Floyd. It was in eight minutes and 46 seconds. where people need to open their eyes. Wisconsin, just a few days ago, a young black male shot in the back with his children in a car seven times. One interview, Brother Prince said, there was a knife in the front seat. The other interviewer said they didn't find anything. Nevertheless, yeah, he was out there fussing and cussing. And let me help you out with something. I went to a private school and I got in trouble one year. This is going to help you with that. And I got in trouble one year. And when I got in trouble, here's what happened. Um, I went to the dean's office. But the other kid who got in trouble with me, the white kid, went to counseling. Y'all show them it's that. America, we need counselors. 
We need somebody to help us to counsel through our relationship issues. We need somebody to counsel us through our alcoholism. We need, at all, we didn't get counselors for opioids until y'all got hooked on. The marijuana that we have now is, it ain't the marijuana of old. They got so much stuff in it, and now they said, we ain't gonna arrest nobody. I guess not, because there's more of them using it than us. You ain't fooling nobody. I was born by the river in a little tent and dug like that river. Lord, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, been a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it It's been too hard living And I'm not afraid to die No, I'm, no, I'm not Cause Jesus said he gonna meet me Beyond the sky It's been a long Been a long time coming, and I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, so I go to my mother. I said, Mother. Help me please, yes, oh no, 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 but she just wind up knocking me back down on my knees. Come right now. Change gonna come. I won't have no more problems. No more tears to shed. No more being shot in the back. No more knees on my neck. Why, Reverend? Because I know change is gonna come. Y'all say that with me. Say, change is gonna come. Change is gonna come. You gotta know the change gonna come. Change is gonna come. That's why I'm smiling tonight, cause change is gonna come. I ain't worried about election in the White House. Change is gonna come. Cause Jesus is coming back. Change is gonna come. No more diabetes. Change is gonna come. No more heart congestion. Change is gonna come. No more off riders. No more being stabbed in the backyard.
somebody asking what I'm doing and let me tell you the Bible says when you moan the devil don't know what you're talking about Don't worry about your son or your daughter because change is gonna come. Don't worry about the doctor's change diagnosis. Is gonna come. Cause change is gonna come. Change is gonna come. Don't worry about the bad news. We've been endure only for a night. But joy comes in the morning Cause change, 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 change Change is gonna come Change is gonna come Listen, thank y'all so much for coming out Thank you let me help you. I want everybody to drive home safe. I want everybody that's watching. I want you to pray tonight. Pray for the state of our nation. Pray for the state of black people. Pray for the state of white people. Because if you pray for them, God will get involved. He'll intervene on our behalf. And so tonight, I thank y'all for what you allowed us to do and tonight we just wanted to kind of showcase keep jesus first and there is a remix coming out in november with myself and brother glenn jones uh, let me say this to us all if glenn jones puts something out i want everybody to go get it let me tell you why because he's been a blessing to us y'all y'all better say amen he has been a blessing to us. So the remix will come out. We have about 12 songs that waiting to go to push all of them, our original and new. And I'm just praying if you keep on supporting. So I'm asking all of those. Uh, I wanted to show something tonight. First of all, I wanted to show a partnership. KBS is uh, our company and our president, Miss Miss uh, Tamika Wright, and then. Uh, 96.5. Uh, Y'all know who our, our girl, Miss Sheila Brown, and then uh, JB's Autos. He fixes all my cars. And um, I'm so grateful to him because I don't hardly pay half the time. <laughs> and so <laughs> he, um, he, he fixes our cars. But let me do this. Talent Room Entertainment got us here tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we have our president from Tower Room Entertainment here with us. And let me tell you what he did. This Negro drove from Florida. No, y'all ain't hearing me. <laughs> ain't had nothing to do with no money, because I wasn't giving him none. This brother drove from Florida. He wasn't on the way this way. He didn't have something to do to come this direction. He came to be with his brother. And our relationship was not built on business. It was built on brotherhood. I pray my brother Mike in Atlanta is watching. Um, I am so grateful for these three brothers. I don't know what to do. And when they're a blessing to me, it allows me to be a blessing to my, my friends and my family. And so I wanted to show partnership tonight, and we've done that. I wanted to show a bridge between the gap between the young and old, and we did that with the rap, a little rap, a little older rap, but just to show that we're not far apart from as we think. But I also wanted to show family. My backup singers tonight was my wife, Valerie, let's give her a hand. Amen. My daughter, Kim Boston. 
My other daughter, Eva, and my sister-in-law, Nita. Let's give them a hand. So you thought it was just about singing and just about, no, it was about pulling this movement together, showing how it could be done. But then I brought my church, because the three brothers that's backing me up, um, Brother Deacon Shaw, come on, let's give him a hand. Brother Deacon Shaw handles all the building stuff. And then Brother Swink, who is the chairman of my deacon's board. Come on, let's bless him. And Brother Deno, uh, Brother Deno Redman is, he's the president of our Mills course, and they came out and be with us. And so I showed you my family, my church, and then I need to show you my ministry. Um, some say, well, you know, you, you got to be realistic in this time. So I keep some fellas with me. <laughs> I, and they ain't really protecting me. They protecting me from them outside. So I don't act a nut. And so Brother Tyler, Brother Lemon, I'm not going to really tell you all who they are because they in the building. And Brother Albert and Brother Fahim and Brother Reverend Spencer, who you've seen, they make sure that my well-being is taken care of. That I might be able to do ministry. Uh, because you do know, everybody don't like you doing something for the Lord. And so they, we're doing ministry and they make sure I'm safe. And there's some other brothers and we're not, but I, I'm so grateful for the neighborhood I grew up in and out of the neighborhood. And so I'm grateful. But that's my, my hood ministry. But then there's my youth ministry. And everybody you see playing behind us, they don't play for uh, all the big Kirk Franklins, not yet. They play for Red Bostic. And uh, our MD is our music director, Brother Darius. Uh, raise your hand, Darius. And he put stuff together, man. I mean, he just, they on this digital age. I don't know nothing about it, but they put it together. Amen. So Brother Darius is, is, is my main man. Um, and all of them are under 25 years old. Matter of fact, I don't, is anybody 24 yet? We have one or two, 24. And then, I'm going to say that one last because I got something to say about him. And then there's Donald. Um, Donald is the bass strings leader, and he plays our bass. Play a little something, Donald. Just check him out, y'all. That's Brother Donald right there. Come on. And between my two deacons here, we have Brother Jay Coleman, and he's our drummer and percussions, and he deals with the video too. And then last, I had saving uh, this kid on the organ, him trying to marry my daughter. <laughs> But let me say this about the cat. He come from good stock. His daddy a preacher. Uh, Pastor Roberson, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> and he wasn't nothing like her daddy. And uh, they're getting married in May. And so we gonna do something big for him if the Lord say the same. And Brother Richard Roberson, uh, and I am so grateful to him on this organ. Play, Richard, play a little bit. Show him. And hold on, right before he play, all these jokers can play each other's instruments. Now that's crazy. <laughs> play a little bit for me, Rich. Just, I'm making him go back this stuff. Man. 
my daughter didn't want to leave him out. He's also on a media team. That's the KBS band. Amen. That's our KBS band. They're in Rochester, Niagara Falls, and Buffalo, so I got to put them up so they can sleep and not drive back and forth. Then our sound man, uh, Brother Randy, is the only white guy in the group. So if y'all have, y'all seen him running around, I can't see, but he's here somewhere. He's our only white guy. He handles putting the sound, and we had this board, this brand new board, and they had to come in and put it all together, and then the kids had to come in and show us the new stuff, because we behind. But then I have another partner here who kind of helps organize our sound. How many of y'all heard of Taylor Made Jazz? Taylor made jazz, my brother, my big brother, Brother Van Taylor, um, who has been playing literally all across this world. And so he have came in and give, our, give his expertise that we can do the best we can tonight. And so let me say this, if we wasn't what you thought we should, just stay tuned and hold on. It only gets better. It only gets better. And last, I got to say, I uh, know Deacon Wims, I don't want to, I don't want y'all to see him because he handles all my finance. And so Deacon Wendell Wims is here. And um, but there's one guy here. I lost my mom in April. And I buried her April, April 11th, 2020. And she died alone because we couldn't go in a nursing home. And I buried my dad four years ago. And you can never replace that. Now, I have, I have a unique history as it relates to my birth. Um, and so I'm appreciative even of my biological. I'm grateful. But there's an old man here who I fuss. And if he don't keep me sometime, I won't be kept. He'll be 87 years old this year, and he's just as sharp and just as strong. And I don't know, let me say this. And we're going to close in prayer. I don't know what I would do without him. I have some great men in my life. Dr. Carl Washington, Dr. Elgin Taylor. They prayed for us on yesterday. The Empire State Convention president and vice president took time out to pray for my group. I got some great men in my life. My pastor, Dr. William Gillison, I got some great men in my life, Pastor Blackburn, Pastor Wims, and I'm just grateful. And I wanted to take this time to say thank you because I'm not going to probably do that again because uh, they know where I'm And so I'm saying thank you to them, um, Dr. David Wade. But then I have a crew here in Buffalo of preachers who prayed for me, who supported me. You know Jealousy is, is something. But my crew, Reverend Spencer, Reverend Brown, Reverend Mobley, they've been praying for me all week, and they wanted me to do well. Reverend Spencer called this morning, man, is anything I need to do we need to get? Nope. Man, thank y'all. Let us pray. Father, I thank you right now. Thank you for allowing me to be a gift to your people. Thank you for using me. And Lord, anyone who I might have forgot, I didn't do it deliberately, but I thank this whole church and every member of this church, from Brother Roland in the back to my sister Judy, I thank this whole church for what they do. My sister Charlene, who I got to fuss with all the time, Lord, I just ask that you intervene on all of our behalf as we leave from this setting, but never ever from your divine presence. 
Thank you for allowing me to minister your way. Thank you for allowing me to sing the very best I could with the gift you gave me. Thank you for my fellows who, who protect the anointed, the gift that we might keep presenting, presenting and these men behind me. None of this gets done without them. Lord, let me say thank you. If I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't even thank you enough. And the people sitting out here in front of us right now, the crowd, the witnesses that's in this building because of COVID, our social distancing, Lord, thank you for the challenge. Thank you for the bravery that they did to come out here on this night. Then, Lord, thank you for each and every person watching under the sound of my voice. Put a hedge around their life. Put a hedge around their children. Put a hedge around their families. Put a hedge around their household. Put a hedge around their, their vehicles. Put a hedge on their jobs. Put a hedge on their parents. Put a hedge around their life, period, Lord. So at the end of the day, they bring glory, honor, and praise to thee. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We praise you. We can't do it without you. We lift up your holy name. And if you don't do it in anybody else's name, if you don't do it on my behalf, if you don't do it on my sister's behalf, if you don't do it on Moses' behalf, if you don't do it on Abraham's behalf, if you don't do it on Joshua's behalf, if you don't do it for Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, do it on behalf of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. And thank God. Amen. And thank God. Brittany, where is CJ and Chris Chanel? I can't see nobody. Chris Chanel's doing the camera work real fast. We don't want to forget them. And CJ up in the top somewhere, he's the coolest, handsomest kid that I ever seen. And, and I hate to say this, but I gotta watch my cougars. And when the lights come on, the TV won't see it. But see, when the lights come on, I'm a he going in the office with me. My Uncle Leo is here. I'm taking him in the office with me because I once was like that. Y'all can't got to say amen if you want. I used to be cute. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless you. Brittany, where's Brooklyn? Brooklyn in the house. Come on, let's give Brooklyn a hand. Amen. God bless you. Goodbye till next time.